Faith questioned Denzel, how do you ask God to supply all your needs, wants, without treating God like a genie or a Santa Claus? Whoa, deep question, deep question. Oh. <laughs> deep question, deep question. Let me, let me erase the board here. Let's think this out. Let's think this out. Let's clear the board for some kingdom thinking. Kingdom thinking. So, let me rewind, let me remind everybody in the house. Uh, kingdom is not a religion, okay? Let's just, let's just start there. I want to be very clear with how I deliver my message. Okay? So, she's asking a faith question. My faith is not rooted in religion. My faith is rooted in an all-knowing, all-powerful, divine God being that is seeking me. It's coming for me. Religion is man in search for meaning, God. Kingdom is God coming after man, right? And bringing him to a new understanding, bringing him to remembrance of who that human being really is and the message to that human being is that they're a king or if you're a female queen right so king and queen now i like to follow protocol candy so based on my limited experience on planet earth at the age of 25 okay so i don't know everything i'm willing to be absolute wrong on everything that I put here. I'm willing to be absolutely wrong so that I can find truth, right? Why live in unknowing when I could know, right? Why do that? So to answer your question, I believe there's a protocol. Did I spell protocol right? Oh, shoot. Don't know. We'll get to it. You get what I'm trying to say. There's protocols. There's rules. I believe it starts with prayer. But praying properly. I think there's a proper way to prayer. Right? I think there's only one prayer I should be concerned with. And that is the Our Father prayer. It starts with our Father, okay? So it starts with recognition. It's kind of like going to court. So to answer the question, the question is, how do you ask God? How do you ask a higher being, higher power, higher authority to supply your wants, needs, desires without treating that God like a Santa Claus. Like you're just here to give me stuff, right? I, th I think we have to understand the, maybe the, the structure, the hierarchy, especially if you're, if you're someone in the room that is a believer, right? You, you believe in a higher power. You believe in a God or the God or one God or multiple gods. Like you believe in a higher energy, higher source, whatever you decide to call it, I'm going to assume there's a structure behind it. There's a system, right? This planet is way too fine-tuned to not have structure, right? Our planet is on an axis. There's certain planets. There's, there's the the whole, there's, you got the sun, you got the moon, you got all these things going on in outer space that 
allows us to have life. You got gravity, you got water, you got air, you got the different atmospheres, you got all this thing going on. You got nature, you got supernatural, natural things going on, all happening at once. This, this world is too fine-tuned to not have order, right? So I want you to think like you're entering into the court and you're going to present a case. You're going to present facts to get what you need, right? So our means unselfish community, right? So now when I go to God, because I, I'm learning the structure according to his structure, I have to come with a witness, with a lawyer, and on behalf of the community. Or in other words, we're citizens. If I'm a citizen in the United States of America, I have rights. If I'm a citizen, I have rights. Right? It, it, rights is a duty that the system has to uphold to make sure that the citizen is living an adequate lifestyle. So, being that I'm a kingdom citizen in this rulership here, and I'm also an American citizen, I've got dual citizenship. So I got certain rights here on planet Earth as an American citizen. I have the right to start a business. I have a right to free speech. I have a right to say what I want, express my feelings. I have a right to believe in a certain, say, religion or belief system. Those are my rights. Then there are another set of rights based on the, the hierarchy, the system that I believe in, which is this one being, all-powerful, all-knowing God, Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, I say, okay, <clears throat> our Father, recognition, I'm recognizing where he's at, he's in heaven, holy is your name, I'm giving him honor and prayers, right? I'm approaching him as an unselfish community, I'm the citizen, and I'm, I'm here to access my rights. I have to go into scripture, certain scriptures, certain case studies, the Bible is simply a constitution filled with case studies. The stories are representations of what happened and what was the result. What was the judgment on that culture, on that community, on that way of living, on that lifestyle. And then as a kingdom citizen, I can read it and say, oh, um, it says in your scripture that if I give... I will receive, you know, tenfold. I'll receive tenfold. Press down, shaking together, running over. Right, so there are certain scriptures that I have to bring, certain facts. Just like your lawyer will, will, will uh, recite, will, will, will cite certain laws to back up the citizen. So, Candy, when I'm in, and let me take this off. Sorry about that. So, unselfish community, I start my prayer at our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, the kingdom come, thy will be done. Say that whole entire thing, but break down all the meanings, right? It's going to take you some time. Break down that whole thing. It is not easy. I just go, I'm just just going over the first two words. It's a lot. Can't break it down all in one shot. But you get the gist. I start with prayer, but proper prayer. I have to learn the system, the protocol, the rules, so I can understand, break this down methodically. Like, how do I approach this, right? And one of the biggest principles in this kingdom is giving, right? One of the biggest principles is giving, uh, uh, loving your neighbor as yourself. So giving and love, right? Those are like the two main orders in this, in this kingdom. Do the right thing, give, and love. Un, un, uh, what's it called? Unconditional love. And you as a citizen, if you do these things, you're going to get 10x. That's why I say 10x a lot. Why not? 
to movement, right? So you 10x, you access your rights, you say exactly what you need. Look, I'm looking to 10x my income. I have this skill, that skill, this skill. I want to give this much, 10%. I want to give above 10%. According to your kingdom, it says that I can do this. According to this scripture, that scripture, this scripture, that scripture, I can get it done. Right? And as a citizen of your kingdom, you have to give the resources to me so that I can operate here on planet Earth because it's your reputation on the line. Right? It's his reputation. We are a representation of God's people and how they should operate. So it's very important stuff. What can a 60-year-old person do to start a journey towards wealth with a great credit score of 730? I'm thinking 10x. 10x. Start watching Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone, Grant Cardone is 63 years old. Right? Now, he's a billionaire. It didn't happen overnight. But you start learning from people like that, you could be overnight. You learn the right information. You cut out the noise. All those people that are like, oh, you know, go, go slow and, and relax and be patient and na, na, na. Wait a minute. Am I not a kingdom citizen? Do I not represent the greatest kingdom that ever was, that ever is, that ever will be? I, I mean, if you're a believer and you're broke, there's something wrong. I could understand if you don't believe and you're broke. Listen, it's one of two things. Logically, you're not in the right industry. You're not getting paid your worth. You don't know what your purpose is. And it could have, you know, it could be an internal issue, spiritually, psychologically, emotionally, physically, something is holding you back from hitting your results that you, you want to hit. But if you're a believer, if you're a believer, like you're cold-blooded, like look, it's Jesus to the end, and you're broke financially, something is not right. Something's off. We're not supposed to be here on earth to be broke. There is too much money in the system. There is way too much money in the system today. Jesus himself said, Lack of knowledge is why my people will perish. That's why. He didn't say the devil. He didn't say uh, 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 it was the slave owners. He didn't say it was other, other cultures that were oppressing. Lack of knowledge was the main thing. Plus, Jesus, most of the time he walked planet Earth, he spoke about money. All of his disciples, for the most part, were businessmen for the most part they were business oriented so you i don't care if you believe or you don't believe money sh cannot be a problem for your whole life i don't see any chains on you anymore okay i don't see any chains the chains are in your brain all right they're holding you back we need to break free from these internal chains that hold us back, whether it's culture, whether it's certain belief systems in our household, whether it's people. Sometimes there's people in your life that are creating chains. They're, they're, and guess where they're chaining themselves? To you. So they, they put a chain around their wrist and they chained you up and they convinced you that at 60 plus years old, you can't build wealth. That might be your husband. That might be your wife. That might be your, your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad. It might be your closest family. They decided to connect their, their poor-minded chain to your chain to reduce hope in your life. And, and it was, it's not a physical chain. It's in here. Mental blocks, mental chains holding you back ruining all of your progress that you could have had, but you choose not to make a difference.